Hey guys, and welcome back to Terra Tech with me, Tenzin. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you guys are having a good day. So, um, yeah, in the last couple episodes, I think we were talking about uh, making the harvesters and harvesting and, you know, doing all the technical stuff, like the really more complicated stuff in the game. But uh, I had a request, or there was a comment to try and make like a harvester with the hover pads. And actually, I did it, even though there, there, there's two wheels that you see right here. But I actually really like the hover pads. Um, I used the Venture ones, as we can see here. And look at how nicely it just floats along. I used the... What are these? The, they're the GEO Jaws wheels. Uh, like, I tried to go strictly just hover pads and then hover plates. But it doesn't work. It's just too fast. And you can't really control it reliably. If we were just running around trying to kill people, eh, I would try it. Like, a, we will probably, well, actually we will, we will make a, an attack vehicle out of hover plates. But as of the moment, it's just a harvester. Um, these, the Venture hover plates, or they're not cover, called hover plates, they're called like the zero Gs, versus the GSOs. Um, let's just go here. So the GSO right here, hover, large hover plate, is actually weaker than the Venture Zero G plate. So, because if I put, um, actually, here, just so you guys can see, um, we'll just go over here, and we'll actually, so right now, we have, okay, we had a weird number, but two, four, six, eight, nine, Zero G plates. And they're holding it up perfectly flat, you know. Like, the wheels are holding some weight, but they're holding it perfectly flat. So let's just take those off. Well, they're just going to be floating there for the rest of their life now. <laughs> uh, and we will grab the other ones. That was nine, so let's go... These are a set of four at a time, right? So, four, eight. Let's go 12, right? And they're all down the middle. Well, it's not too bad. But that's three extra, right? Or, yeah. So let's go like that. You know what I mean? So, I, I just like the zero G plate. The zero G plates are better. Because we had nine and it was holding perfectly fine um and give us more room um, where are they here there we go so two four oops ah. all right apparently we are sucking all the battery out of our our life out of the batteries of the base so that's two, four, six, eight. Yeah, see? Oh, ten. I don't think we really need the ones right up front there, but. See, it just. There's so much extra. And, like, the amount that it's pushing up right now is actually. In, you know, it's enough to tip us forward. <laughs> so. Uh, I'll show you guys how it harvests. How well it harvests. Uh, I have the two big drills on the front here. Um, let's see. Let's go up in the mountains here. We are going to have to build a base somewhere up in here. Uh, I want to... Like, I don't... I was thinking that was probably a good spot. But in here might even be just that much better. Oops. These drills suck sometimes. <laughs> There we go. But yeah, it definitely turns a lot better than it usually does. Um, like the vehicles. Because you're pretty much just swinging the butt around all the time on this. Which is great. Uh, and then you don't have to worry. Oh, come on. Oh, you got a massive tail. Like, look at how quickly that just picks it up. Like, okay. I just don't want to deal with these venture guys. 
Do I want to have a shield? He's not an invader. Huh. Well, look at you. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to make sense of what's going on here. Okay, he's like some kind of harvest. I don't know. Yeah, we don't have the strongest um, weapons on this either. I did want to put a minigun, but uh, in the end, of course, didn't do it. Oh, that's why. Um, he must have been a tech somebody built, or they built it. But he has one of these remote. Uh, Oh, what is it? Generators on him. So maybe when we destroy some of the trees, he got some of the blocks to create some energy. Holy cow, we definitely need to put some better weapons on this if we're gonna... Oh, let's just run into him. See if we can't chew him up with the... Uh... <laughs> but like, look at how easy that swings. Yeah, we're stuck on the... Oh, uh, are we stuck on the rock? No. I think we are, just a little bit. Easy. You yeah, like navigating these hills, actually. So yeah, I'm, you know, I think I will, I'll probably be building harvesters like this from now on. Just because of the swing radius, like, and then maneuverability. Because you'd always get pieces stuck underneath you, and, like, you still are, but... Not interfering with your wheels or anything like that. Uh, not to mention the stability, like we're not nose, or, you know, endowing, running into the ground all the time. Uh, getting hung up with the back wheels, like we only have two wheels to worry about. This is actually very, very <laughs> acceptable to me, to me at least. Um. What else can... I must have been... Oh, I was trying out... I did have the yellow recovery pads, on, or uh, receiver pads on here. From the GEO. Oops. From the GEO. But, just because it was the hover... Or we were using hover pads and stuff like that, I was worried that we would be going too fast. For them to actually work. Or grab. Huh. Looks like we actually have... The ability to carry more. Let's see. Go there. And there. And what'd that do? Absolutely nothing. We're still perfectly flat. And it's like uh, with the hover plates, they don't seem to... I don't know if it ever did really matter with the receivers, but it doesn't seem to really notice the weight from the resources we're picking up. I guess we'll have to check that out to see if that's actually a thing or not. Um... You'd almost assume that there wouldn't be any weight notice since they're floating in the air, but <laughs> this is uh, this is a weird game at sometimes at certain points. I don't want to mess around with that Hawkeye there because he'll probably just cut us to pieces. Coming, but he I want the resources. <laughs> so we're gonna try and build a base. Like a harvesting base that, um, what would you say, um, uh, I think of the words here. That's, you know, that's crafting. You, I'm going to hook up all the, uh, these fabricators. Or the ones that I can use. I don't know. This one says GSO old grade 3 fabricator, so I'm not 100% sure, but. <laughs> I think there's one thing that's made from that, that I know of, um. But yeah, other than that, well, that's what we're just going to do. But, uh, we'll go down here. Like, yeah, like, those, these hover plates are really good. We'll sell all our stuff to here. We'll re walk over to the other base. Yeah, all the parts that are laying around are from in or guys dropping in right beside us. Um, but yeah, we'll go up the hill. We'll grab all our parts. And we will scout for a new place to live, I suppose. Come on, why can't it take it off? That's crazy, we 
overloaded this spot. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm not gonna hang around. Let's get going. Oh, actually, you know what? Since we're going up there. Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Yeah, everybody that just said that's a bad idea. Oh, actually, it's. I thought for sure it was gonna rip all of the the harvested materials off of us. Okay, there we go. Up the hill we go. Hmm. Okay, how do we want to do this? Part of that. Maybe we'll charge up really quickly. There's some more of those remote chargers. We gotta get rid of certain things. Uh, yeah, because when we pull that down, it's just gonna rip it down. like that. So yeah, I had to put this tower here and stuff like that because this, what was that? I think two guys showed up or three guys showed up while I was actually building and I just, I didn't have any weapons on this, the harvester at the time, so I just threw one on here and boom. Okay, so really? That sucks. Kind of hoping for Complete disaster. What? Oh, it's because of the SCU unit? Hmm. Down there. Alright. You're going up the hill. So, yeah. We're the only reason that I want to build in the hills, or, or close to, is just because we're going to need a lot of... What is that guy? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we're going to need a lot of these more rare uh, stones, so... Like the greens and yellows, they come pretty easy. But blue, gray, they're usually... Located pretty close to the mountains um, or hills. Not to mention, look at all the rocks around here. Oops. Didn't really want to do this. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we gotta find an area that I deem is big enough. Because <laughs> we're gonna need quite a bit of room. What is going on here? So, I guess downside is these big. Yeah, the big drills. <laughs> Not downside to the the hover plates at all. Just going up and down the hills here. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Let's. This looks fairly flat. I don't know how much room we're gonna need right now. But let's set this up. And you know what? Might as well just do a montage of building the base, right? Alright, let's do it. <laughs>
I think this should be good on uh, at the moment. Like uh, we have the conveyor belt started. Going into the refineries. I'm trying to think. You know, are we gonna go into the foundries next? Yeah, which probably we are. We just have to do this um, sorting. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do any refined, then any oil alloys, then into storage units, and then into craftables. So it's gonna it's gonna be a couple couple interesting things happening <laughs> but all right if you guys like this episode please leave a like leave a comment and if you haven't already please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one